Hi, I'm uh, Lance Corporal Wilkinson from uh, 103 Military Working Dog Support Unit and uh, this is Jamie, a vehicle search dog. He's uh, nine years old, he's uh, been in the army pretty much all his life. He's done tours of Iraq, Kosovo, Northern Ireland and uh, he's on his third year in Afghan at the moment. The, the main role of a vehicle search dog is uh, on the main gates to the camps but he also gets used for vehicle checkpoints out in the towns and different places just to search the vehicles which cuts search time down to seconds rather than minutes uh, the dog can go around the vehicle really quick so it uh, lessens the time out on the ground I did the Operate 7 as a protection dog handler and uh, coming back out here this time I've progressed to a vehicle search dog handler so uh, fingers crossed next time I come out will be AS dog handler which is just a natural progression you do in the core like a uh, normal working day, I sort of get up um, yeah, half seven-ish, get him some food, and I'll go away to the scoff and get my own food. Once that's done, I come back and give him a good walk off. So, you know, a bit of exercise, let him go to the toilet and that. Once I've uh, sorted all him out and myself out, uh, we'll get down the gate usually, you know, nine, ten o'clock in the morning, and uh, sort out all the vehicles we need. <laughs> Search the vehicles down the gate if there is any. He's, he's awesome to it, you know, he's really good to work. He is um, he's, he's, he's like a robot in the dog world. He knows exactly what he's doing and he's taught me so much as well. You go to a, a group of vehicles or say down the gate and so, something like that, he knows exactly what he's doing. Um, you can just let him off and he pretty much does it all himself. The only problem he's got is sometimes a bit too fast, a bit too clever. You just have to bring him back sometimes just to cover it properly. Once all, once all they're done, I'll just get him away, make sure he's there, all right, clean, plenty of fresh water. And then, yeah, say, same again in the afternoon. If there's more vehicles coming, I'll get them done. If not, uh, I'll either get to the gym myself or take Jamie for a good walk or sometimes a run around the camp. Give him a bit of fizz. We do CT, continuation training, um, when we think we need it. Or if we say we're back in Bastion and our boss is around, they uh, take us for it just to make sure the dog's still working well for us and, and just checking it. Uh, if we get any new explosives in, we'll uh, try them on that and get them working on the, any new explosives and stuff like that, just in case anything comes in that's you know, different in the dog, just to get the dog used to new stuff. If we, if we find, notice any faults we've had on the gate, you know, such as not searching up high or something like that, we'll just go, go do a bit of CT. It only takes 10-15 minutes, a quick couple of fines, and you can get the dog doing what you need to. We're both coming to the end of our six months. So, uh, as far as I know, Jamie's coming back with us to Germany. He's finishing his career out here, coming back with us. Uh, so, we'll both go back. Then uh, I'll disappear on leave and he'll, he'll get treated in the kennels while he's uh, in quarantine for a few weeks. And then uh, I think Jamie's going to be used as a course dog to train uh, new handlers up for a while. And then hopefully he'll get rehomed and uh, I'll try and put the papers in for him. And uh, either have him myself or give him to my dad back home because he said he, wouldn't, he would like him. So I'll be sad to you know, let him go. It's to say, seeing someone else working with him back in Germany if he goes on the course because I've been so close. We've got, we've become. We've got a really good relationship over the last uh, so many months. Because on some, say about 36 hours, um, when the lads are getting their scrams straight away, you know, the dog, you need to look after the dog first and then sort yourself out after. Um, I've got to carry all his uh, kit, such as he's got a dog coat, earmuffs. Uh, I've got to carry all that, plus his dog food. And uh, he drinks a lot of water, so, you know, hardest, hardest part is carrying all the water for him and carrying enough water for him. He sleeps, sleeps next to me, he sleeps in my sleeping bag on the cold nights because uh, there's nowhere else for him like when we're under the, under the stars like. Hi, I'm Magsy, uh, part of FSG J Coy, 4-2 Commander, Royal Marines. Um, having Jamie the dog with us is uh, definitely helpful, especially with VCPs, searching the personnel, cars, just makes it so much quicker. Gets us out of the firing line quick enough and uh, does the job probably better than us actually to be fair.